To fill the system, remove the stopper and fill the reservoir to the top with clean water. It is very important not to check the water level more frequently than necessary. For interior plants, this will typically be every two weeks for high water use plants and may be as long as every four weeks for low water use plants in dark locations. For exterior plants, the fill interval will probably be every one to three weeks depending upon the type of plants and conditions. Properly functioning CWI units will typically have dry topsoil and the water in the reservoir will have dropped after two weeks. You can monitor the water level by using a straw or acrylic tube. Remember not to open the stopper any more often than necessary. Refill the reservoirs before they become empty if possible. Prior to closing, moisten the stopper slightly and push in hard with a slight twist for best sealing. The stopper must be secure for the system to work. CWI and CWI Classic units equipped with an overflow drainage adapter may weep for the first 12 to 24 hours after filling, but usually not enough to overflow a saucer. Afterwards, the unit should only weep after a rain or top watering. You can fertilize the plant by adding Planter Technologies HM10 Time Release Fertilizer for sub-irrigation systems. It releases optimal amounts of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, as well as 10 trace minerals into the water without over-fertilizing. Use other water-soluble fertilizers at one-quarter strength and dissolve into water before adding to the reservoir. Replacement of the working parts is recommended every three to five years. Pull the sensor from the grommet, then remove the grommet from its hole and replace with new parts. It's easier to insert the sensor if it has been moistened with liquid soap or water. Be sure to repack the soil after replacing the sensor.